Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a new video. It's another photography video of an update of what's in my camera bag for 2018. I've updated my kit a bit for the new year and my photo shoot's coming up so I'm doing another overview of what's in my bag. This kind of doesn't really go in my bag. Um, it's just a little tripod. I think I got it on Amazon for like maybe 20 quid, probably not even that. I don't use it when I'm out at photo shoots, so I don't want to spend loads of money on one. The only time I use it is when I'm filming videos. So it just sits on my desk <laughs> or it's under my desk not being used. So I didn't want a really expensive one. New update, <laughs> new camera. Um, before I was using, if you watched the last video, I was using a D3300, um, which was a cropped camera, but now I have switched to the D750, which is a full frame camera. And I have been really excited for this camera. Um, it is quite heavy in comparison, I'm finding, but it's a great little camera. Um, I did a test shoot yesterday and I've got a couple more test shoots coming up um, this week. So I'm going to get to use it a few times um, and get used to it so I'm ready for my client bookings for the rest of this year. Um, I just got this little spotty strap from Amazon. I did have a like flowery one, but when I sold my camera, the strap went with it. So I've now got a spotty one. Uh, next up is... I'll do the lens. So I have got a new lens, um, which is this little baby. It is the 50mm 1.8. Um, it's, it's taking a bit of getting used to um, as it's a prime lens, so I can't zoom in and out when I want to do things. But so far, pictures that I have taken are tack sharp. They are really great. There's so much detail. Um, I'm really impressed with this combo as a whole. And I also have a battery grip. So I have a spare battery in there, I keep a battery in the camera, and then I have another battery in my bag, so I've always got enough batteries on me. Um, <laughs> my camera died halfway through a client shoot a little while ago, and I didn't have a spare battery on me, so I'm not doing that again. I just want to make sure I've got enough batteries. Uh, next up, I have my little hard case. This was in my last video. I just used this to put my SD cards in, but at the moment, I don't have any in it. Um, I have two SD cards in my camera. So the SD cards I use are these ones, which are the Extreme Pro 64 gig um, memory cards from SanDisk. Um, I use the ones that are 95 megabytes per second um, as they write nice and quickly so there isn't as much of a buffer when I'm shooting um, and it also keeps my frames nice and quickly so that it, it, yeah, it just takes nice quick pictures. Um, so I have two of those in my camera. Uh, so that's that. I have my battery grip. I have my hard case for keeping them in. Um, my next up is my main lens. So this is what I use when I'm on my client shoots with horses. Um, I have been. I haven't done any shoots with horses yet with the 50 millimeter, but I have been told there's quite a bit of distortion if they are standing at certain angles. So I will keep using my 70 to 200 2.8. I love this lens. Um, I have loved this <laughs> since I got it. It's a great lens. Um, and it's great for when I'm working with um, my clients and their horses. Um, so this, when I've got client shoots, this will be the one that I always take with me. If I'm just out doing portraits, um, with, when I'm with friends, when I do anything like that, I will stick to the 50 millimeter. Um, I do want to add the 85 millimeter, either 1.8 or 1.4. I haven't quite decided yet, but I think that will be, give me enough length to stop the distortion in horse photos but it'll be quite it won't be as big as 2.8 so it'll be like a nifty little middle lens that's what I'm hoping uh next up I have lens wipes I use it, have used these on lens wipes for years they are great um you can buy quite a lot of them very cheaply I think something like 200 for eight ish pounds um so I always keep a handful of these in my bag just to keep lenses clean fingerprints aren't cute so I have those so next up is my business cards. I always keep a pack of these in my bag um, and in my handbag just because you never know uh, who you're gonna meet. Um, I've booked things from being, from my artwork, from just going to the co-op. Um, I've booked portraits. So it's always handy to have business cards with you. So business cards. And I also have my contracts and model release forms, which are, all tucked up nicely in here in a duplicate so I've got a copy and I can also give my clients a copy health and safety all that sort of stuff 
is in here because it's handy to have. So I think that's everything that's in my kit. I've got a couple of bits that I haven't done, videoed, but I've got but I've got some little prisms um, as I'm experimenting with different techniques when photographing to add different effects. Yeah, so that's everything that's in my kit bag. Um, I don't think I'm gonna really venture far from this um, for the next year unless I do happen to get the 85mm because I think that will be my lens that never comes off. Um, at the moment I'm gonna keep the 50mm on all the time unless I'm photographing horses or doing any of my portrait stuff. That will definitely go to the 7200 so I don't have the distortion problem but um, for everything else I'm gonna keep the little lens on because this one is very heavy so I don't want to like carry this around all the time so I've just got this nice little nifty lens um, and that is basically my kit I prefer to do my portrait stuff or my horse stuff I do love doing wildlife shoots but I don't think personally for the way I shoot or anything like that that I need a massive telephoto lens that's 600 millimeters or whatever um, just because that's that doesn't suit me so if I want something like that I can always get a teleconverter for this one but um, at the moment I'm really happy with this kit um, I don't think it's going to change much and yeah that's about it if you want to see any of my photography work I will link my page down in the description I will also put a link to where you can buy my reference photos if you are an artist and um, want any of my references so I will put a link to that as well um, and I will I will put links to where you can buy all of this stuff too. Sorry about being crying in the background, but um, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. It was a bit boring, <laughs> but yeah, I will see you guys in the next one, and I will make it another drawing video. Bye.